So this is an interesting debate. Um, I think if you feel the patient is benefiting from the treatment, you do not stop it. We do not have good data that MS remits or that MS burns out. There's really not convincing data for that. The issue in the older individuals that have had MS for many years is if they have transitioned to progressive disease, if they're secondary progressive and they're very, very remote from the relapsing phase and they're getting up in age, it's unclear if relapsing disease-modifying therapies truly have any benefit. And I think that you might rightly consider discontinuing that treatment. The more problematic issue is in a relapsing patient who stayed relapsing despite getting up in age and long duration of their MS. Well, have they done so well because of the DMT that they're on? Or have they done so well because really perhaps this was your milder form of MS and they would have done that well without treatment. Right now, we don't have a way to cull those apart. So my own feeling would be if it's not broke, don't fix it. Okay, if the patient is tolerating the treatment well, they're not progressive MS, they're, they're relapsing uh, and, and they're doing very well, I would hate to withdraw it with the risk of having an issue. There's overwhelming data that MS needs to be treated early, the earlier the better, within a few months of the first attack. But sometimes you get pushback from patients and from physicians. From the patient point of view, imagine if that you've been completely healthy, you're a young individual, you have a relatively mild neurological issue, it may even spontaneously get better, it gets, gets better, and then you're told you have MS and you should go on lifelong treatment. You may feel fine. You may feel this is minor. You may feel that you can follow a wellness program and take care of the issue. This is an, this is an, an education factor. So the healthcare provider really needs to make clear to the patient what MS is capable of doing, ongoing damage to the targeted body organ, the central nervous system, and that ultimately it may be better to go on treatment to try to minimize that damage and live a healthy uh, lifestyle and live an intact life to be able to age well. So that's really a communication and an understanding of the disease. I believe there are some practitioners who don't really see much MS and don't take care of MS, who may just have a smattering of cases, who don't fully understand the benefits of early treatment and thus if, get, if, if they get pushback from the patient, may not be very aggressive about trying to persuade them, particularly if they misinterpret shared decision-making to, to, to be, well, if the patient doesn't want the treatment, I shouldn't push them for it. No, the patient needs to be educated why treatment would be so important.